Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday so it's meal prep day. I have three really good recipes for you. Comfort food with protein and then a Christmas holiday inspired dessert. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below. At the top, I will put my recipe website. That is where you will find all of my recipes, including today's, as well as nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized macros and calories, highly, highly recommend. This is what I utilize to lose 140 pounds and keep that weight off long-term. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability, to ask questions, or to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, it's fun. Come join us, we'd love to have you. So let's head on into my kitchen for this week's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm going to make protein cinnamon pumpkin waffles. It's literally two ingredients. Two ingredients and a little bit of water, and these are so delicious. So let me show you what you'll need. So first you're going to need a can of 100% pure pumpkin. Do not buy pumpkin pie filling. With the sugar, buy the pure pumpkin. And then you're going to need the Devotion Nutrition Sinful Cinnamon Protein powder. So these are the individual packets of the protein powder. This is something new to Devotion. They actually have a combo pack. I shared it in a previous What I Eat in a Day. You get recipes for all the different protein powders in the pack, and then you get two packs of their different protein powder flavors, buttery blend, chocolate, or brownie batter, angel food cake, sinful cinnamon, and mocha java chip. And you get recipe cards as well, which is really nice because it gives you some ideas of what you can do with the different flavors of protein powder. And the little pack here gives you an opportunity to try out all the different flavors, find the ones that you love, and then you can buy it in the full tub. So I just pulled the sinful cinnamon right out of my little combo pack. So I'll link Devotion down below with a discount for you guys, but we're gonna do sinful cinnamon. You'll need a little bit of water for the right consistency and then a mini waffle maker mine actually is a pumpkin one so how perfect is that this is from dash i got this on amazon i'll link it down below for you so to make these waffles super easy i'm going to make three servings i don't know how many waffles i'm going to get since i'm using a mini waffle maker but i'm going to be doing three servings whether it's one two or three waffles we'll kind of see what we end up with so the first thing I'm going to do is add my packets of Devotion Protein to a bowl. Now, if you have the big tub of Sinful Cinnamon, you're going to want to do three scoops, which is three servings. Each of these little packets is one serving or one scoop. It smells so good like cinnamon rolls. It, it literally smells like cinnamon rolls. And then we're going to do about three tablespoons of pumpkin puree and then add just a little bit of water to get the right consistency of a batter. And then stir and then continue adding water as needed. Here's what your batter should look like. I have my Dash little mini waffle maker warming up. We're going to spray it with some non-stick cooking spray and then add in our mixture. And like I said, I'm not sure how many waffles I'm going to get. We're just gonna play it by ear. Close her up, and when the waffle is done, the little light will go off. And our first waffle is done. I think this is so cute. It makes a little pumpkin shape. I mean, you can use any mini waffle maker, any full-size waffle maker. So I'm going to add a little more spray and make waffle number two, and just repeat until we're out of batter. So here are the waffles. I ended up with six total, which is exactly what I was shooting for. So you actually can have two waffles each day. So again, I made three servings. So each day I plan on having two waffles. I'll probably pair this with some fruit for a healthy carb, but these are our mini cinnamon pumpkin waffles packed 
with protein. I'm actually going to have these for breakfast this morning, so let me show you what I'm going to do to prepare these. I think I'm going to add some pecans, some butter, and some sugar-free syrup. So this is going to be my breakfast with a side of berries. So what I did is added two tablespoons of chopped pecans, one tablespoon per waffle, one teaspoon of butter divided between the two, and two tablespoons of sugar-free syrup. This looks amazing. Looks like a little restaurant breakfast packed with protein. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm making taco mac and cheese. I have been craving mac and cheese and what's better than tacos and mac and cheese together full of protein. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need a pound of 96 or even 93%, even 90, whatever you prefer, ground beef, fresh cilantro, and fresh tomatoes. We're gonna top the mac and cheese with that. Of course, we're going to need taco seasoning and mac and cheese. So I am using the Fiber Gourmet Light Macaroni and Cheese. You guys, this is incredible. You would never know that it's not Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. And it has 57% less calories. So only 150 calories, 24 grams of fiber, 25 net carbs. That's it, really, really great. And you're going to get nine grams of protein. So if you love mac and cheese, but you want a healthier version with protein and fiber, Fiber Gourmet has you covered. So I'm actually going to do two boxes because both Troy and I will eat this. So I wanna make sure that I have enough. Plus I'm using an entire pound of ground beef. As you know, I buy all of my Fiber Gourmet pasta on Nutrition's website. It's my favorite source for fiber gourmet. I buy the pasta, the mac and cheese, the crackers, best price. So I'll link Nutrition down below actually with a discount for you so you can save even more money and you can find the fiber gourmet mac and cheese there. So let's get started on lunch. So I'm going to get my ground beef browned, drained, ready to go. And then I have some salted water coming to a boil. I'm going to cook the fiber gourmet pasta. So I just drained my pastas. I'm, my pasta, I'm going to add in my two packets of the mac and cheese powder. And then I have my Fairlife milk. I'm just going to add enough just to get that creamy mac and cheese. So just add milk little by little. You can always add more, but you can't take away. So I always start with just a teeny, teeny bit and then mix that together. So we're ready to put together the taco mac and cheese. So I have my mac and cheese. And by the way, I tasted this. You guys, it's so good. It, I think it's even better than Kraft. It has more of a real cheese flavor to it. And then I have my ground beef. I went ahead and seasoned that with the taco seasoning. Mix that in with the mac and cheese. I was thinking if you had a can of Rotel, that might be a nice addition to the mac and cheese as well. I am going to stir this together. I'm going to taste it and make sure that I have enough taco flavor. Otherwise, we'll add a little bit more taco seasoning. Okay. Mmm. Oh, that is really good. So let me show you what I'm going to top this with when I go to have it for lunch this week. So here is the taco mac and cheese. I went ahead and diced up my tomatoes and cilantro. So I'm going to top it with some of each. And then I have some queso and some sour cream. I thought maybe melting about a tablespoon of queso and drizzling that on top might be really good. And then you can also add sour cream. You can have avocado. You can really just doctor this up and make it a and it can be so many different variations of taco mac and cheese, but I'm really excited to have this all week long. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making eggnog cake. I couldn't be more excited about this. Let me show you what you'll need. So we're going to use unsweetened applesauce in place of the oil. You'll need vanilla extract. The recipe calls for a box of cake mix. So I grabbed the zero sugar. You'll need eggnog. This is a plant-based eggnog. It's much less calories, in fact, than regular eggnog. And it actually tastes really good. I found that it sprouts. I have Lakanto powdered sugar. I do have a 15% off discount for Lakanto. I'll link it down below for you. You'll need eggs. Sugar-free vanilla pudding. I've been loving this Simply Delish brand. It has much better ingredients than the Jello brand. I also buy this on Nutrition, same place you buy the Fiber Gourmet. So I have the vanilla sugar-free pudding, some nutmeg, and then I'm going to use real butter. You can always substitute for light butter. The points will include light butter. And then you can use regular if you would like, just know that it'll be higher point and calorie. So let's go ahead and make some eggnog cake. So I added my cake mix to my bowl. I'm going to add one cup of my eggnog, four eggs. 
going to add in our pudding mix. One third cup unsweetened applesauce, nutmeg, and vanilla extract. And then stir until fully combined. Go ahead and spray your bundt pan really good with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to add our cake mix right into the bottom. And then just do your best to kind of spread that out. And then I usually tap my pan to get it nice and even. It's going into our oven at 350 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes or until it's cooked through. While our cake is in the oven, let's make up our glaze. So I added two cups of Lakanto powdered sugar to a bowl. I'm going to add a quarter cup of my eggnog and a quarter cup of my butter melted and cooled vanilla extract and then you could also add in rum extract if you have it i don't have any unfortunately so i'm going to omit that and then we're going to stir this together until mixed set it aside until our cake is out of the oven and cooled one hour later so I just pulled the eggnog cake out of the oven. Ooh, it smells so good in here. I'm actually going to pop this out of my bundt pan, put it on a tray, and allow it to cool about 75% before we add our glaze. Alrighty, we're ready to glaze the cake. So I'm just going to drizzle, ooh, that eggnog glaze right on top. Now our cake is still a little bit warm. When I read through the recipe, they recommended your cake still being a bit warm. Apparently the glaze will just kind of sink in a little bit more, so it'll make it nice and moist, but also give you a little bit more of that frosting vibe. So we're going to get that glazed. And here's our cake. Doesn't this look amazing? Oh my gosh, it reminds me of a glazed donut. And it's eggnog, and it's holiday, and it makes me really happy. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to enjoy these all week. Don't forget all of my recipes are on my recipe website that is linked at the top of the description box as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.